you so much. And the news has many in our community passionate about how they feel, whether it's in celebration of the possibility or in protest of the possibility. There's a women's march that started about an hour ago right in front of the Planned Parenthood in Plano, in fact. That's where we get underway with Steve Pickett this evening and coverage live for us. Steve? Yeah, that large group you just saw there in that video, Doug, is now headed to the Plano Municipal Court. They started marching here for just after 5 o'clock uh, with police uh, escorting them to that location. I can tell you, uh, we have talked to a number of people today on, if you will, both sides of this equation, all of them with their own opinions about abortion as a legal right. We, we are against abortion. I'll put it plainly. They stood today as they have for decades, anti-abortion Catholics pushing to prohibit abortion. Joanne Underwood said a possible Supreme Court ruling changed little for her. Steve, it was no reaction. Uh, what I've been doing, and this is the organization of the Catholic pro-life community, is to be on the front lines. Personally, my heart dropped. Christy Noble leads the Dallas County Democratic Party. She called the leaked ruling an attack on women and others. We all have a right to, to health care. Um, everyone has a right to their own health care decisions, and that is th what is happening with this ruling is going to take that away from women. This is a very sad day in America, and unfortunately, this will go into history books, and these people will be held accountable for the decision they made. And we're going to put people in office that are going to protect yes. women's yes. rights. Plano resident Eero O'Mary decided to lead a protest march from Plano's Planned Parenthood office to the municipal courthouse here, a public statement against any ruling that would block legal abortions. But contrasting against this display is the one held by anti-abortion activists throughout North Texas today, joining Joanne Underwood and Catholic Right to Life community leader, Gerilyn Kaminsky. We're, we're cautiously optimistic that uh, Roe versus Wade may be overturned. And one more voice today from Planned Parenthood of Texas issuing a statement. It reads in part, we are here for you and we are not going anywhere. No judge, no politician, no ban should ever block your personal medical decisions or set the course for your life. That was echoed by many people at this location today in front of this Planned Parenthood uh, uh, headquarters here in Plano. But as you saw in Northeast Dallas today, another group with a different view. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.